Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy. I'm making cheese, and today I wanted to try a I want to try a thing I've never tried. I don't see a lot of people trying this, but maybe that's not what I'm looking for. I kind of want to try and answer like Reddit questions and help people out who are like using Reddit to kind of get solutions and whatnot. My knowledge is gonna be limited, very limited. So you know, I'm not you know I'm still you know grinding my way up to the top, playing some way fine here and there so I can get some good time to dedicate myself to it. But I think I know, I know something and I want to see if I can help people, you know, kind of, you know, just help, just help people out, get my name out there, try and build a community or just, you know, just have some answers that people are just trying to answer. So I want to go to the Reddit page. I made it a little bit bigger. So hopefully y'all can see this. It looks like y'all can see, it. I mean, I can see it, but I'm going to, I'm going to answer what I can answer. I'm not going to answer things, you know, that I, might not know it now. I have a good answer to and kind of just like not trying really. Um, I'm not trying like to. How do you say? Fanboy, you know, like I am interested in the game very much so and I'm not going to, you know, defend things that are bad. I mean, I kind of do defend things that I, I'm not saying I defend things that are bad, but like I kind of can see why they would do it. But I also want to give people like encouragement, like if you speak loud enough or Make it known or make a post and get some, you know, just put it out there to look at it. Hopefully that they will. And hopefully what you don't like will get fixed. So I need to do start finding some questions. I think this is a good one. Seeking Senja by uh G Foley. G underscore Foley. I don't know if people want to be putting in videos, but you know. Awakening Senja is one of the most boring or most frustrating tasks I've ever done in a game. Legion and Amar are two broken bosses, both because they are buggy, slow, and not at all challenging. An investor system as a design makes you lose any desire to continue. I love this game because I see so many beautiful things in it and 400 plus hours for this, but I'm giving up now. I hope they change the way to recover the vestiges as soon as possible. There must be a satisfaction, not just frustration. Doing 60 plus boring and not challenging runs to draw only two vestiges when you actually need 10 doesn't make sense. I'll return soon because there are some changes and I wish I won a wonderful start and happy new year also to the whole airship team. Quit. That was wholesome. Nice. I get this. Because the whole prestige system again, other pieces of it. I think just grinding in general is still kind of not on the fun side. Like for years and I'm, you know, I'm a bit more from as I usually do. Uh, farming was never really that great. I mean, they got lucky. It wasn't that bad. I think this game, because World Warframe is now basically where it was for. Like, you're a lot stronger now in Warframe. We can just kind of like blow over bosses. I and mean, you can do that in Wayfinder too. But it's like, I think it's just not as fast because you keep. I, I don't know. The point is, I think RNG represent is still not that great. So. Am I saying anything right for us are my only issue. Don't mind going doing the boss grab with this ambulance for accessories to sell, but pick out them bloody orbs gives me massive headaches. Is that managed either, but at least you find them in many different areas and it's uh, less frustrating. They are a pain in the beginning, but I don't you will end up with a overabundance if you stick with the game. The change they're going to make to the ecosystem will most likely make it so you don't need any money either. Okay. You're planning to do some good stuff. We're going to say some good things in here that. Album out. I think what I want to say is, I mean, like if people quit the game because he's this person is clearly interested in the game, but the the grind is kind of getting to him, and it's not feeling really rewarding. So I think, I mean, everybody's in the right for the way that they feel, because that's the way you feel. And if you want to quit because you're not feeling the way, you know, that things aren't feeling good, then by all means, you know, quit. At some point, we'll come back, you know, because I don't, you know, like even at some point. I think this game has a lot of people who are just waiting to return. Now that people are always so scared about the little player count, it's just like a lot of people are just waiting for like the big stuff. So, oh, what do I want to say? I said, I want to, I want to, you know, I don't want to just, I, I have to think on my answers, but I said, I've been hearing about the drop rates a lot and it's only getting to get more grindy in the future. So I do hope that they will make another change to drops and improve bosses and add a play system. I'm the best grammar guy, by the way, so I'm gonna just say how I say it. I'm pretty sure you understand it. This is gonna make grinding easier. Quitting is valid and hopefully we'll fix it and you return at some point. I should say at some point. All right. Next 
question. Got another one here called helps coins, help coins change. Why is this for real? Upper coins are a great idea, but them only, I think he meant to say them, only being able to use for a few different resources is a waste of a good mechanic. Lots of people are complaining that the game is too much of a grind for materials and too repetitive of a grind. Upper coins allow you to mine material in limited amounts. This will be a really simple fix to this. Talk about them. I mean, I, I was just talking, talking about the last time. Well, I, I, I think this is a, it's a generally good idea. Because if you want, is you know, it makes it like kind of gameplay loop to get loot or to help yourself and help other people. Because people are always looking for help. And you help yourself and help other people at the same time. It's pretty, so that's, like a, that's a win win, as we say. Everybody says, really. So. I'm gonna say, said I 100% agree. And another way to get resources while also shooting up the gameplay as you'll be in different random dungeons, meaning different people alongside helping yourself is great. Hopefully this will change. Cause hopefully it was cause helping copper coins needs to be, you know, something like if you, if you help people and help yourself at the same time, it might even be like a better way or at least a, you know, a nice, Kind of a circle, you know, like a nice gameplay loop. So, play. on to the next question. Uh, let's see here. We have a post by Green Slime Fan. Hi. Slime's kind of cool. But, combat lacks variety with one choice of weapon at a time. Have they said anything about adding a secondary weapons? I see games like Genshin where you can have four different weapons and eight different skills at a time. It just feels like Whip Fighter is lackluster in that regard. I can kind of see it because like I'm bring a Warframe. Warframe you have three weapons and then you have a character that has the abilities and whatnot. I'm like, yeah, I can kind of see it. And there's not like a lot of like, combos in this game. You know, like you have like your light your light attacks and heavy attacks. But like they don't really they should like chain in the thing. I mean they chain you go chain them into your abilities as well. For combos and whatnot. But I think if you have two weapons, it kind of might under I mean I'm not against two weapons. I feel like it kind of might, it might undermine a, like a Wayfinder who's potentially better at close. Some are better at far. And if you give them both, well, you might, some people might just be good at both of them. But then you give it, you know, it kind of makes the challenge. You can't really get rid of some of the challenge if you have 20 options. I'm never, you know, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not against it. But I could, I could see why if they didn't do it essentially so and come from people who play on like come like genshin genshin has a lot of things too uh, i don't think of more weapons solves a problem sure answer no long answer no not gonna lie i wouldn't mind being able to swap between weapons at least during a hint or expedition to be able to apply a more strategic approach to combat more on the fly i don't want to see them doing that just because of how the game is designed wouldn't work see i'm i'm kind of with this guy right here a lot about this a bit. My two ideas. You should going to have six to eight spells available to them, ranging from defense, utility, or offense, but be able to equip only four spells. That gives them a bit of variety and builds. I like this. I like this. This man who is rain rage. I like this. Because it's like. It reminds me of uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance or any like the older games like that. Like, you know, like a, I'll be able to pull the abilities. And he, since we only got four. And I know they're talk, they had a system in place that'll talk about how each way finder can give another way finder their like a version of their ability. Now I might be able to chain up at some point, but if they take it a step further and we have more abilities to kind of more get into a play style of character or change it up. You now maybe like set our Grey Warden having um like the healing pulse swing, he got like a like a hammer or something like that, or something like a like a maybe like a I mean, like he'll have a hammer that is like more break damage over time. Get Senja like a. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. Really, I'm not really gonna think on a fly kind of ideas for characters, but I think. I mean, for this would be like like a bunch of daggers or something like that. It should be cool to have some variety of things. You know, but not even that much. Uh, you should have more unique light heavy attacks. I already agree. You know how guns already operate. Just a tiny example: a Juggernaut could grind at the enemy with each attack, having. Having the tag lasts a bit longer for each higher risk reward, or each, or a bit longer for higher risk and higher reward. That should be strong, storing teeny time amounts of guard break or give 0.5 HP, stacking shield and adds in each auto, stuff like that. 
I don't feel the game will get better for those who play. I just think it. Who down? Who who downboarded this man? Don't you dare! You no, know, you part of the video now. I love this. Reply. But to the main person, I'm gonna say the green slam fan is. I think it'd be cool to have an extra weapon. But with the way the game is balanced, I don't feel like they would. I feel like it's just gonna change a lot of things. If they do it, I'm all for it. But if they don't, I get it. Period. Comment. Next question. This is a question by Havoc underscore CA9. I have just learned a question on the game and playability. I just learned about this game and it seems really fun. I'm a massive fan of Darksiders. Oh well, my, even though I didn't beat three or Genesis or one. Play two. That side is great. Our player count looks a little weak. Whenever you have any concerns over this right now, I never played an early access game before. With this in mind, is it hard to find people to play with? Is this game playable as a solo right now? Also, how many people play per team? Thanks. Um, let's see some features here. Only event update was a huge step in the right direction. The game certainly isn't perfect. It will take the most of 2024 to establish the base that can be built upon for years. But there's still a lot to do for the Lexus title. I have 250 plus hours. This guy, this person right here is already is already saying what I want to say. Uh, the game uses a private or public matchmaking system, so it groups you with players pretty quickly. Almost this play solo, but can group with other players at any time I want. There's even a helper queue for quickly joining random missions with other players. Currently, the group size is three players total. The open world area has uh count up to 12 if i recall and our plans for raids with six players my advice is that if you think of your founder pack cost of supporting airship syndicate not buying a video game you will enjoy your time with finding that much more take that up though take it that was really well that was really well thought out spoken unlike me i'm not so i pretty much summed it up um a player count like i say camera hey hey but a player count, it's an early access game, and that whole charade with the whole bat, the botch launch, and stuff like that. A lot of players are just waiting. A lot of players are simply just waiting to play, dude. You want something to bring them back in. Thank you, it's a Warframe where there's not a bit, there's not a big update. People, a lot of people just wait. It's like there'll be login frame and stuff like that, or you know, daily frame kind of stuff. So, I think the player count. As Syndicate said, they're not worried about it. They're more just trying to get their content out, and then we're going to earn players' trust back. Not that he never broke, he never broke my trust, because I know server issues are you know, pain in the ass, and it wasn't, you know, what they had said was a perfectly same logical to me. She was. And then we will find out later on top of that, it really wasn't their fault. So people are just waiting. I don't, it's not concerning to me. Uh, this is, I think it's also my first early access game as well. But playing with people, easy to do still find people i have no issues and then i think solo is always the best way to go rely on yourself nobody has to help you but and sometimes it's really helpful to have people especially during bosses so we're gonna say said i am not concerned over the player count read a lot around this post people are just waiting for fuck that up i concerned over the player count a lot of the posts people are just waiting for content specific fixes that they want or huge content drops to be back playing with people is super easy in dungeons a bit of a pain for the open world and right before you go out there and yes the game is solo friendly and can do it all alone i think i guess i got some good points in there Click. next question the question by re 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 ray 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 Ray, 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 yeah. This game is fun, but good God, as interaction needs some serious tuning. Probably a clip, but the community doesn't allow it. That's bad. I was playing a triple shadow mission, and my torch ran out of fuel while on the some stairs. It was basically a millimeter thick ring around this torch that had to stand up perfectly to be able to pick up the torch. I went in for like 10 minutes before giving up and staying in the shadows to die. The issue was trying to get on zip lines, but the issue is actually, uh, Exacerbated by stairs. The precision required to interact with things sometimes is ridiculous, and in this case, straight up breaks the game in the most extreme circumstances. Quite frustrating indeed. I agree. There's some things 
I think like my biggest one is like trying to hit the crystals. I have, a, I have a great sword, so I can have a, have a big wide swing and area to hit. And sometimes you gotta be right on top of a crystal to hit it. It's absolutely annoying. And I think zipline, she should be able to jump on them at any point. Like at any point, if you like are near it, she better just hit F, jump on it, jump off kind of thing. But you kind of can't. So I'm like, hopefully they'll change that too. And stairs, I'm not sure how stairs, I mean, there's kind of a problem. I not, not think it's a kind of a problem too, but you can't take out stairs. You gotta just fix tracking. So that said, 100% agree. The amount of times I've slipped off the edge and then he won it mounts it back. Back on. But <laughs> I said 100% agree. The amount of times I've slipped off the edge and he won it mounts it back on. Just as I try to hit that won't budge from certain angles and stairs tracking can be a pain. Hopefully they get looked at. That's the, that's the best thing you can really do is hopefully they'll look at it and make some noise about it and get it out there. Hopefully they'll do pass. Early access. Click. Next question. Then we have one more time for one more question for this evening. By Mr. Stoney, this is four days ago. A waiting cost too much memory. Let me start by saying it's not every character. Silo and Nissa are okay. The first awakening is time for 100 for each gem. But then Carlos and Venomous are 9700. Oh, the four times more expensive. Similarly, why do they need so many more rare resources? 18 bones, coins, feathers on Kairos versus six for Silo. It's too much for seemingly no reason. Will the new Wayfinder be even more? I don't know. I haven't really touched Awakening, but I've heard and I've, se I've seen a lot of people Awakening system is uh, not the best system. Like Warframe for the for like Forma, but like this is like, like tedious for not a lot of, not a lot of payoff. I try the XP grind for the murder grind while the accurate based what if the amount is high it might be off putting to new players coming in all the new players out there hours and this is all this and it's off putting see I'm with this guy right here I don't have to run the hours but even people who are invested that's still a lot um this needs to be looked at for this definitely be looked at because costs need to be normalized I can kind of understand if it kind of costs more if they're like a, I mean, I'll go say it actually it costs more if they're a better wayfinder, but then that make other wayfinders weaker or they'll, they're, they're weaker because one's stronger than the other one kind of thing. And it should be the cat thing should be like a standardized cost across the board. So, but I said, uh, that definitely needs to be looked at. <laughs> you know, normalize those costs across the board because right now they're saying this way find our way stronger than that way find it. It's short, sweet, and to the point. Oop. And that's be all the questions I'm gonna answer for today. I want to kind of do this every so often, maybe every couple of weeks or so, to see what people are talking about and like trying to generate some just just some topics and thoughts and you know learn along the way and so help me in my reading because reading is total trash i don't know what happened i used to be like a savant i used to have really refined reading and not stuttering and all this other stuff i got but they here right there so hopefully i did enjoy let me know in the comments down below and i can change or do better let me know anyways catch you later